Hey guys, Mike from Pinpoint Podiatry. Today, I'm gonna to be giving my first impressions on the LeBron 15. Now, I posted a photo of this shoe on my Instagram the other day. If you aren't already following me, the link is in the description. And most people didn't really like the look of the shoe. Now, for me per se, I don't really care how the shoe looks. I really care about how it performs and how it's gonna help you guys if you have any foot pain or any injuries that you need help with. But I'll quickly touch on how it looks. It almost has a Game of Thrones Throne Wars dragon kind of vibe. Now I'm not too sure if they drew any inspiration from Game of Thrones itself, but as we all know, LeBron's nickname is the king. Now keep in mind, we don't really know what the shoe is going to be like until it releases, but we do know what the tech is like and how it does perform. So it can give us a pretty good idea of what you can expect. I'd initially say the design and silhouette of the shoe does look like a LeBron 14. So if you guys have played in the LeBron 14s, and you enjoyed it, it's good to see that Nike hasn't strayed too far away from the design of the LeBron 14. It's still a one-piece booty upper. The collar almost looks like and reminds me of a KD-10. Now for me, per se, I didn't really like how the KD-10 felt around my ankle, but for some of you guys, it may be a good choice. Initially looking at the materials here, Nike's introducing battle knit. Now I'm guessing this is kind of like a fly knit, but reinforced so that it's more durable and more robust on your foot. This will probably benefit you bigger guys or you guys who wear your shoes out quite quickly. The material should be a little bit more durable than the fly knit itself. The battle knit may allow for a snugger, more lockdown fit as well, but that remains to be seen until the shoe comes out. If we look at the shoe a little bit more closely and where the battle knit is placed, it seems to be even thicker or more reinforced around high impact areas such as the heel, the big toe and especially laterally, which as you guys know, those areas can get worn out quite quickly. So a little bit more reinforcement won't hurt. There is an external heel counter, but that's the only external piece that I can see on the shoe itself, which means that the LeBron is gonna be a little bit more minimalist this year and perhaps a little bit lighter than in previous years. Now looking at the cushioning, the Max Zoom or now known as Battle Max, looks as if it will take LeBron's impact and force. So it looks as if this shoe is gonna be aiming for maximum impact protection across all aspects of the foot. Now let's just hope these are stable when you are actually landing on the court. There won't be much court feel in these as you have these big clouds up underneath your foot. The articulation looks to be a little bit more hex pod than the KD, which means that transition in these shoes is gonna be essential. LeBron did unofficially unveil these shoes at a scrimmage with UCLA. And if we take a close look at the shoe itself, we can see the decoupling at the heel and the forefoot. So basically you have three separate sections of the heel, midfoot and forefoot, allowing for smoother transition while running and jumping up and down the court. Without seeing the outsole or the traction, we don't necessarily know how that will hold up. If you look really close, there does seem to be quite a lot of grooves and it does seem to be a rubber outsole rather than a translucent outsole. However, that's all we can really get from these photos. And unfortunately on the video, we don't get to see a close up of the traction. So we'll just have to wait and see what the traction actually performs like once the shoe drops. My overall thoughts on this shoe is that basically it should be quite an interesting performer with the introduction of Battle Knit and Battle Max. So it should be a solid performer. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on social media and subscribe for more updates on shoes that are coming out or any helpful tips. Thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.